Says peace and blessings, God shalom. It's Mark the Messenger back with another video. A lot of my subscribers have been asking me to make a video on, you know, why does God want me to stay single? Why do I have a hard time finding relationships? So I came up with seven reasons why God wants you to be single. Also, before I even start this video, guys, I want to let you guys know you see a lot of videos on YouTube talking about kingdom spouse and all that, guys. All that is a distraction, okay? The Bible says to seek God's kingdom first and his righteousness, and all things will be added unto you. So as you're seeking God's kingdom and his righteousness, and you're better in your spirit, you're better in your connection with God, the Holy Spirit, and then in due time, when it's, his, when it's God's time, he will send you your husband, he will send you your wife. But you going out trying to seek, and you idolizing your kingdom spouse, which, you know, who knows if you're gonna get, you know, your husband and wife, okay? Who knows? Not everyone gets their wife and husband, okay? Some people, they go out of God's will because it's not, God's will in their life to get married and they go out of the God the God's will for their life and they go out and try to find their own husband, try to find their own wife. And what that does, guys, opens up doors for curses. Uh let's say if you have a children with that uh, partner, then generational curses get passed down. So guys, don't even seek, don't even seek a wife. Let God add it add it into your life. Okay, or him or that's how God that's how it's supposed to be. Never go out, you know, to the club, day naps, trying to find it, guys. No, that's all a distraction. Never go on YouTube videos. How how could I find my wife? I'm telling you guys. Waste of time. Seek God's kingdom, all things, and His righteousness, and all things shall be added to you. Let's get it. Let's go. If you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's get it. Number one is the reason why God wants you to be alone is learn more about Him, and He's preparing you to be a wife uh, slash or a husband. Okay. Uh, beginning stages when you first come to the truth, you first learn about the, your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You first read your Bible. You don't really know much. You don't know about the laws and commandments on marriage and what it requires of you to be a wife or a husband. So it takes time. And also, as you as He's preparing you, He's preparing your spirit. Okay, maybe you have some strongholds you need deliverance from, some demonic spirits, some addictions that you need to be set free from. So God has to remove all that, and which requires your faith, which is going to lead to obedience, which is going to lead to works. To help you know fight fight those demons off fight those strongholds off so understand that it's going to take time that could take years it could take months now some people they don't really battle as much some people they do so it could take time okay so god is preparing you to be a wife he's preparing you to be a husband all right so always understand that learn more about him spend more time in the word spend more time in prayer fasting get get to see god's heart guys that's what we should be doing especially if you're single to be seeking god's heart guys if you haven't if you don't have a partner that you should you should be doing every single day Number two is wants you to heal from past relationships and heal from bad soul ties. Okay, a lot of people, especially in these modern times, they get in a talk, they, they get in a toxic relationship, and then three, four months later, they're in a whole new relationship. It's like they have no time to heal and see what they. But people don't understand when they do that, you're spreading your bad de demons. That's what it is to the next person, to the next man or next woman, and the cycles of being constantly repeated. People don't want to spend time alone for like a year. It's okay to spend some time alone for a year. It's okay to spend some time in the wilderness by yourself for, you know, uh, maybe a season, a couple months or a year or whatever, how long you need. Some people might need longer than a year. Okay. It's okay to do that. But in this generation, people are dopamine addicts. They don't like to be alone. They got to always be doing things that of the flesh. Okay. And so understand that when God wants you to be single guys, it's because you have, you still have soul ties with your exes. <clears throat> you still have soul ties with your exes and you have a soul tie with your ex and you, you try to get you try to get your kingdom spouse that's gonna you're gonna you're gonna cause hell you are going to cause hell in that relationship okay so make sure you guys you've been free cleanse and that's gonna take some time to heal okay take some time to heal and you know bad soul ties the reason why i put bad soul ties is because not all soul ties are bad like i said if you have your wife and your husband and you guys are bearing good fruits you guys because what is what is the purpose of a marriage let's talk about this real quick guys the purpose of a marriage or relationship is to worship the creator together to praise the most high together to build the kingdom together if y'all ain't doing that if y'all are not studying that relationship that marriage around god it's you're wasting your time it's going to lead to destruction especially if you're a believer in christ because we're not supposed to be un unequally unyoked okay a lot of the times guys it's very hard to find attractive woman you know or if you're a woman attractive man who has the same faith as you and we, you know, and then we rush into a relationship that's unequally yoked, but that's going to lead to a lot, of, a lot of problems that could have been avoided. Okay, so it's always best to be patient to wait because, like I said, when you go out of God's will in your life, you're opening up doors for curses, uh, disobedience. That's what it is. Disobedience opens up doors for curses. Okay, uh, number three is you are not ready to lead a woman. Us, or if you're not ready to submit to a man, it goes both ways. Um, if you still live with your parents, you don't have a job. Um, you don't have a strong connection with God. Let's say maybe you're like, you're living in willful sin. You're not ready to lead a woman. You're not ready to lead children. Okay. Or if you're a woman 
and you know you still have that jezebel spirit on you you're still you know thinking you could teach a man lead a man you know be the man in the household that's 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 how it is today guys the woman are a man and the man are a woman okay the people who are not set apart that's how that's what the program is okay and i feel like god gives saying uh god gives Satan the power to them to do that when you don't want to be set apart now you got to feed into this world's corruption all right the world loves its own so always understand that when you're not ready to submit to uh submit to a man you know, you, and you ain't ready to do that. You feel like that's just like bondage. God's not going to give you a godly husband. He ain't going to do that. He's not, you crazy? He really thinks that? Don't be delusional. Or if you're a man, you really think God's going to give you a godly woman. If you if you don't work, you, you know, you're over here saying, people are over here saying that uh, we're saved by faith. We don't need to work. It's lazy, slothful man. Okay, that's what, that's what these people who say that are, okay? So always understand that you got to work. You got to be able to provide. You know, in the red pill, they teach you that it's a sin to, for a man to be a provider, but... A man back in the day, that's what a man did. A man had to hunt back in the days. They had to go in the wood, the woods, the wild to hunt. Okay. And, and he, and the man provided for his wife and his children. So there's nothing simp or beta male of doing that, but don't be fooled by the red pill content creators. Okay. Don't be fooled. There's nothing wrong with providing for a woman who's do, playing her role. You play your role. She plays her role. And it's good. Okay. Number four is you have a higher calling. Also, before I go on number four, number three, uh, Ephesians chapter five talks about the role of a wife and a woman. So I work here. It's a, it's a long chapter. I can't put it in here. So I recommend you all check that out if you haven't already read it. Number four is you have a higher calling. One Corinthians chapter seven verse thirty eight. The whole the whole chapter seven really talks about marriage and relationships. So if you guys want to learn more about relationships and marriage, I highly recommend one Corinth first Corinthians chapter seven ver, the whole chapter seven King James version. Okay, that talks about everything you need to know about relationships and marriages. Now, of course, there's other chapters, but that's like one of the things that comes to the top of the head. Can you have a higher calling? Jesus wasn't married. Uh, Jesus didn't have a wife. Um, Paul, Paul didn't have a wife. Okay. Many people in the Bible didn't have wives. Why? Because they had a higher calling. Look at Paul. Look at all, almost all the New Testaments he, he wrote. Okay. Look at Jesus. Look what he did. Okay. So the man who's married, he cares for the things, things of this world, how he may please his wife. The woman who's married cares for the things of this world, how she may please her husband. Okay, so when you have a higher calling, there's no time to please your wife. There's no time to please your husband. It's time to please the Lord. Whoa, it's time to please, it's time to work for the kingdom and save souls. So you have a higher calling. Embrace it. Okay, I understand. I'm gonna go the next one. Next one. Okay, let's go to the next one. Let's go. Let's go, guys. If you haven't already hit the like button, share this video, man. Share. Number five is you don't struggle with sexual sins or morality. This correlates to number four. Now I know a lot of people who tell me is like, yeah, Mark, I never. You know, had the website addiction. I know some sisters who told me, you know, I, they never had intercourse. They're virgins. Okay. So if you don't struggle with sexual sin, sexual morality, the Bible talks about if you struggle with, to avoid fornication, uh, let this man have his own wife and a woman have her own husband. But if you don't struggle with that and you want to use your body for the Lord, the Bible says, remember, the Bible says that he who was, un who, he was unmarried cares for the things of the Lord, how he may please his master, how he may please the, the most high. Okay. So always understand that. So if you don't struggle with sexual morality, a lot of us, we do though. Let's keep it real. Most of us do. Uh, most of us, we were watching the websites from some middle school and elementary school. You know, we were, you know, given into that lifestyle because that's what's being promoted in the TV. We were programmed. That's what's being pushed on the TV, the radio, the music we listen to, our friends and our family. We didn't know any better. And because we didn't know any better, now we suffer through the generational curses. Now we struggle with fornication, website addictions, and, you know, uh, masturbating. So, you know, so, but if you don't struggle with that, guys, count yourself blessed. Okay, and also, before I go with number six, if you're a young man, I know a lot of young men that hit me up in Constellation Calls. If you're a young man, guys, don't let no one laugh at you for being a virgin. Okay, that's the cool thing, guys. That's, that's To me, that's, that's, that's lit. <laughs> that's, that's lit to me. Embrace that, guys. Don't let this world fool you. If you're a virgin, you never had any, any, any intercourse, count on all joy and praise. This world will demonize you because, remember, the Bible says, woe to them who call good evil and evil good. Anything you're doing that's good, that's righteous, that's of the light in this world, in this dark world, you're going to be, it's going to be, they're going to shame you for it. But when you do what's dark, when you do what's evil, you get praise. So don't let this world fool you. Don't let the matrix, don't let Satan's kingdom fool you. Okay. So if you're a virgin, whether you're a man or a woman, don't let no one bring you down for that. Okay. Uh, number six is you do not desire a partner. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 27 says, are you thou lo loose from a wife? Seek, uh, it says, I'll leave that verse right here, guys. I don't want to say that verse wrong, but it pretty much says that don't seek a wife. Simple as that. So if you don't have a wife right now, don't seek it. That, that's what the Bible says. Seek God's kingdom first and his righteousness and all things will be added into you. So if that's what, because the Bible does say in um, Psalms 37 verse 4, hopefully I'm saying that right. So delight yourself in the Lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart. So if you desire a wife, if you desire a husband, then of course, yeah, God will give you to. But not everyone desires to be married. 
So if you if you don't desire to be married, then don't be surprised if you stay single. Some people don't. Some people want to just have, some woman want to just have cats, and you know, be be cat moms. <laughs> that, that's what she want to do. You could do it. You know, some dudes they just chilling, ain't really you know focus on a woman, just focus on their purpose, and that's that's good. That's the number one thing as a as a man, what you got to be doing. Our purpose must come first. Not a woman, not nothing. Your purpose, okay? Your purpose is linked to God. It's linked to the kingdom of God. All right, always understand that. Number seven would be you will make your partner an idol and or slash it will be a distraction, okay? A lot of times, guys, begin their relationships, marriages for the wrong reasons, okay? Which will lead to distractions, which will lead to you not ascending in the kingdom of God, We're not elevating with your spiritual walk, okay? A lot of the times, guys, it's a distraction, if they're not on the same level as you, or at least trying to reach your level, if they're not honoring God's law, statutes, and commandments, whatever you're trying to do, if you're on a high level and they're just trying to stay, you know, on the bottom tier, they're trying to be a peasant and you're out here being a king or being a queen, you can't vibe with them. Okay. It's going to be a distraction. So God will I'd rather have you be single than you distracting yourself because God is a jealous God. You out here entertaining something that's stunning your growth in him. And God knows you have a high calling. God knows you're a special possession. He bought you with the price. Therefore, glorify God with your body. Okay, always understand that. All right, God bought you with a price, and you'll be here in these in these relationships, defiling your body through fornication, defiling your body through watching the websites, uh, uh, fapping and stuff like that. So always understand that, guys. These are the seven reasons why God wants you to be single. I'm gonna go over a summary. Number one is learn more, learn more about God, preparing you to be a wife or a husband. Number two is want you to heal from past relationships, heal from bad soul ties. Number three is you are not ready to lead a woman or submit to that. Number four is you have a high calling. Number five is you don't struggle with sexual sins and morality or sexual morality. Number six is uh, you don't you do not desire a partner. Some people don't desire a partner, guys. Uh, number seven is you will make your partner an idol slash it will be distraction. So I hope you guys learned something in this video. If you have already, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I know it's not the Sabbath day yet because Sabbath's on Saturday, but by the time I upload this, it will be on it will be the Sabbath day. So I hope you guys are having a blessed Sabbath day. If you haven't already, check out this end screen. If you haven't already, also too. Check the links, uh, subscribe to my channel, like the video, and if you want to support me, my links are down below in the description. All right, I'm out. Peace.